Oh, this is a sh show. Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about break wall safety and how to properly anchor up to the wall without damaging your boat or yourself. But uh, but first I'm just going to set the scene. We went out on a very glass day and I'm going to just kind of let the video play as the day went along. That's nice. Well at least we're going to have food tonight. Have to yeah, lay on this whole corner. I need a little, a little bigger. Yeah, keeper. Got a feel of it. Yep, first keeper. Nice fish. <laughs> Crazy little dude. Kissing all over the place. That's a hole. And that's a fish. And that's a miss. Baby. Oh, kid. Porgy? <laughs> Porgy. Porgy. Need bait to fish my yeah, duty. Real, 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 real. Yeah, gotta keep them up off the bottom. Nice. Nice. That's 17 change. Oh yeah, seven. Yeah, 17 and a half. Ah, you just f***ed up. My bad. Three pounder? Yeah. Easy. Plus. Oh, God. This again. I'm not hating this spot. It's just I think the tide's kind of f***ing with us. Get out of there. Get out of there. First male. Buddy. Nice. Use a dude. Way down in that cave. Look at my line. I think it's time to uh, be smart for a minute. That's not a fucking scratcher. <laughs> yeah, that's like a 17 incher. Ow! Oh, right in the meat between the hands. Ow! Oh, sh that hurt. So let out a little bit of line in the back 
and, and somebody pulling a little line in the front. You want to team up quick? Just so we can get off these rocks a little bit. Because when the tide comes down, you have to let out line to adjust for the scope. Yeah, I f***ed up. I'm not paying attention. You did a wonderful job setting up on that rock, though. Probably five. What the f is going on here? You're just gonna pull it. Because there's nothing there. Like, you're like on that rock right there. Okay, so the problem that we're having here is when we came out, it was dead glass calm, as you can see by the first couple of minutes of the video. And now the wind started picking up a little bit. And Danny's anchor, from him getting it stuck in the rocks and then ripping it out so many times, looks like this. Bent to sh**. So, it wasn't actually hooking onto the bottom. We were kind of just sitting because there was little current and not any wind or waves. But uh, I was still very comfortable sitting in this spot because I knew as long as basically a big boat didn't wake us, we weren't going into the rocks. So, the way we sit, and the way I describe in my other break wall videos, is you have to drop the anchor off the bow, and then back in and throw the sacrificial off the stern. And the whole reason why you do that is so, if a weight comes, your bow isn't getting smashed into rocks, and then you have to reverse into waves and get your boat swamped. Your boat's meant to go forward, so you're always going to be able to take waves better at the bow than you are at the stern. So, we were just going to leave because we couldn't get anchored. But being the uh, the cocky SOBs we are, we decided to, for educational purposes only, go to one of the points on the wall that it kind of sticks out so it's even more dangerous, uh, get anchored up there, and show you guys basically uh, what happens if your front anchor pops and you have to get off of the wall, and we catch a couple fish too, which is fun. Alright, so if you notice your front anchor pops when you're at the wall, the first thing you should do is immediately start your engine, try to put it in forward. Uh, the second thing, you cut your sacrificial line, and if you can't get your engine started, if there's something wrong, have somebody run to the bow, pull up some of the anchor line at the front. Even though it's popped, you should still be able to gain a little bit of traction, pull it slowly, and get yourself away from the wall. What I do in this video is I take a net. You can use a net, an oar, one of the fishing rods. Press yourself off the rocks, fend off, and at least try to not bump your boat into it or crack your skin. Yeah, Dan, we got to... Uh... Oh, this is a sh show. Jesus. Okay, so in this next clip from the intro, uh, what you'll see me doing is I'm fending off with my left hand, and I catch a fish with my right, which is absolutely hilarious. Danny has to come help me out with it. This is so stupid, it's not even funny. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, maybe we should get you back to that Yeah, that'd probably be smart, yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're ready to leave the wall now. We're right up next to the rocks. The engine's out of the water, so all I'm gonna do is just give it a little push with that uh with that ore I got there. And then Danny's going to drop the engine a little bit, start it up, and then just uh, push us out a little bit as Bubba pulls the front anchor line up. And then we're all away from the rocks under power of the engine and good to go. And then comes a perfectly placed giant school of stripers for some bonus footage. Stop right here. Oh, Jesus. 
Yep, uh, I'm surprised they're not Albies, honestly. I'm really surprised they're not Albies. Oh, you're going boiling. Right See, back and boiling right there. Yeah. At all stripers. It's weird. Got him. Here, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at him get right out of the water for it. Oh, he's right here. Look at him. Oh, dude, this is sick. Bonus footage at its best, right here. Don't stab me, you shit. I like the worst place to hook it, right above the mouth. Dan, I have epoxy jigs in my bag if you want to throw one on. You don't have a spinning rod though, huh? 20 incher. Got him up. Thousand stripers and guys still can see Robin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get him, Bobsy. Watch it be a C, Robin. <laughs> nah. Fast. Well, fast. Nice one. That's bigger than mine. Nice one. Look how fat that thing is, dude. It's like a football. That's like a, that's like a big striper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like a, right. like a miniature big striper. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god, that thing was literally a football. Good job, bub. Ah, Bubba's, you're getting them down deep, huh? You let it sink for a little bit? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this video helped you out a little bit, maybe gave you a little more insight into anchoring up at the wall. And uh, let me down in the comments below know how you guys are making out fishing. Tight lines, good luck guys, and I will see you in the next one.